Yesterday we talked about linear equations in slope intercept form. Today we're going to talk about standard form. In standard form you'll have ax plus by equals c where a, b, and c are all numbers. Let's look at some word problems where standard form works best. You have some quarters and some dimes. The total value is $2.85. We can write an equation for this situation in standard form. First we think about the quarters. Quarters are worth 25 cents. Then we have the dimes. Dimes are worth 10 cents. And all together we have a value of $2.85. It's important to know that there's not only one right answer for Q and D here. There are lots of combinations that would work. Just like when we graphed yesterday, lots of values work in the equation. That's why we graph a line for these and we can see all the values on the graph. Let's look at this situation. You are shopping for balloons and flowers and you have $30 to spend. Balloons are $3 and flowers are $2. So let's try to write an equation to represent this relationship. Okay, we have balloons or $3. So this time let's call the number of balloons we buy X. And the number of flowers we buy will be Y. Flowers are $2 each, so we do 2 times Y. All together, we want to spend $30. Again, there are many possible combinations of balloons and flowers that will make this equation true. Now let's talk about how we would graph this equation. One thing you could do is pick out possible values and see what that would make the other variable. For example, you could say if I bought four balloons, how many flowers could I buy? And you could build a table of values. A quicker way to graph this equation is to find the two intercepts. First, let's find the x-intercept by plugging in a zero for y. Now we solve. 2 times 0 is 0, so we can just bring down the 3x. Divide by 3, and x equals 10. That is our x-intercept. The point is at 10 zero. This is a point on the graph. It means if I bought 10 balloons, I would have to buy zero flowers in order to spend $30. Now let's find the y-intercept by plugging in a zero for x. 3 times zero is zero, so we can bring down the 2y. Divide by 2, and y equals 15. That means our y-intercept happens at 0, 15. That's the value when we buy 0 balloons, we can buy 15 flowers. So we plugged in a 0 for y to find the x-intercept, and we plugged in a 0 for x to find the y-intercept. You might also notice if you just cover up a term, you can probably do mental math to figure out that the y-intercept is 15 and the x-intercept is 10. Now let's see how we can use these to graph this equation. If I go to my x-intercept, that's on the x-axis, and I plot a point here at 10, 0, and then I do my y-intercept on the y-axis, 0, 15, now I have two points, and whenever you have two points for a linear graph, you can connect them to make your line. Now we have the line that represents this equation. If we find points along this line, they will be solutions. You may be asked to take an equation in standard form and convert it to slope-intercept form. And in order to do that, we need to isolate y. First, let's move this term to the other side by subtracting. 
Now over here we have a 30 and a negative 3x. Those are not like terms, so we cannot combine them. So we just write them as two separate terms. We still have a 2 with this y, so we need to divide. Now be sure if you divide this side that everything on the other side gets divided. So we have y equals negative 3 over 2x plus 15. Now our equation is in the format of y equals mx plus b. Let's see how this equation relates to the graph. The y-intercept is b, so we should have a y-intercept at 15, and we do. The slope is negative 3 over 2, meaning a negative 3 for the rise and 2 is the run. If we count down 3 and run 2, we should be on the line. We can continue doing this to find several points along this line that we drew.